This is Uncle Roger. Who wet no garlic. But for all you youngsters out there that you do not know, Peter Chow was actually the original, one of the first people to put on a character to have that thick Chinese Hong Kong accent on YouTube. I'm very angry. And before the rise and fall of Peter Chow, we're gonna go into his entire backstory and what I think what really happened and where is he today. Action from that, and I drew from it, and I created an entire character and an empire just like that. So before the fame, the views, the clout. I split the ace, oh, so much money. Blackjack on both, and then I split the four. Seven on each, 21, 10, 10. Oh. Was out living in New Brunswick, Canada with his family. And out there, there was a lot of white people and a lot, a lot of Asian minorities specifically. This is what probably led to things like getting bullied and picked on. And he looked up to his brother. Up, I didn't have lots of friends because being the only Asian in a predominantly white school, I knew I was going to be picked on. So I was bullied for being different. I was made fun of for being short until my brother taught me how to defend myself. From the shy, quiet, timid Asian kid, learned to create a character so that he could fight for himself. Through the rise and fame of the internet, he was finally able to fight back. So when people think, oh, he just made a video and went viral, no, that was not the case. It was along the lines of a YouTuber called Mr. Shy City Man, Mr. Shy City 3, went on his own YouTube videos and he added one of Peter Chow's videos as a favorite. And back then, in the YouTube interface, you could see which YouTubers favorited other people's YouTube videos. And from there, it acted almost like, hey, check out this friend's YouTube videos that I like. And that's pretty much was the catalyst for Peter Chow's rise to fame. A lot of it had to deal with Mr. Shy City that put him on the spotlight. My city. And what he did was he favorited my video and overnight I woke up 15,000 views. And I said, I got something, you know? So I just ran with that ball. You know, I, I felt that ball in my hand. I ran with it. Mr. Shy City Man, my name is uh, Peter Chow. And I uh, just want to, you know, give you my respect, give you my big uh, shout out to you, you know? Tell you that you have a Chinese brother out there that really appreciate you. You have to understand that before the days of YouTube, there were no Asians in the media. And having a Peter Chow play this very antagonistic character going against everything of the model minority Asian was actually quite a breath of fresh air. Between take a seat, I go take seat, or hoi, or see. And we were able to see the regs to riches stories when it comes to any sort of YouTuber influencer. From there, it went from viral video to viral video from playing on this heavy accented character from misogynistic comments to uh, calling everybody mudda bitches. That was the role or take that he was gonna take on this character. But if you're a stupid bitch, if you're being a stupid bitch and you cannot do anything, there's only one solution. Buy her the Louis Vuitton. But my question was is how long or how many years can you play this character without it having to take a piece of your own soul. Peter Chow played this character that you could never see his eyes, which is smart of his case, cause you didn't really have to play who you are as a person on camera. And as time went on, it went more along the lines of having more authenticity, being more relatable to the camera, being able to show who it is that you are instead of playing a character. Why this is the time for me to drop the character, or reveal my eyes or reveal my real voice. And it's because we're very much in the reality era of YouTube. I, I think it'll be a relief for me uh, to share my real side, you know, mostly on Snapchat or Instagram, or Twitter. Obviously there's gonna be disappointment among a lot of you. I'm sure a lot of you will be like, you know, RIP Peter Chow. Because when you play the same character for a decade, it gets tiring. On course of that, on top of that, is that your audience changes and grows. And a lot of the content that Peter Chow did in the past, in this day and age, with social justice warriors and wokeism, 
it would not fly past the radar. Things like misogynistic comments, blackface, and the list goes on. As you can see, I am outside, not in my apartment. I don't like to be outside too long because then I tan, I look like a and a Jamal Jenkins. I got banned from YouTube for that one. There's one where I bitch out my girlfriend, Chinese guy bitches out his girlfriend, and that one was about, you know, how bad I We can start to see the decline of his content quality, where he started to use clickbait tactics with things like labeling this the UFC of the big pay-per-view event. That's something I would do to get clicks because I have a smaller channel. But with his channel nearing on a million subscribers, you would think otherwise. And as the overall YouTube platform matured, the overall content of his own audience also changed. Peak eight years ago. I miss you doing your old shit. I have to let you guys know that YouTube isn't my focus anymore. I'm doing this because I still want to. This whole YouTube ad boycott thing. YouTube is driving very little revenue for a lot of people. And a few years ago, I made the conscious decision to move on from YouTube into acting. And I found relative success in doing that. Which is why Peter Chow had to change his content from doing really racy, very provocative type of content to moving into clickbaiting other influencers' names and titles, as you can see here. And as a fan and as a viewer, I felt that his heart was not in it anymore. From the final reveal of who his character was, he started to eventually play himself. But was that self actually authentic or was it a character that he also wanted to put on to keep up with the trends in this YouTube day and age. I remember watching Peter Chow when he was just in someone's basement, renting that out, to buying his first car, the Honda Fit, to seeing the come up and being like, wow, this guy's killing it on YouTube. But something happened. I do not know what, but watching the content, maybe the haters actually got to him. Maybe playing a character was so tiring all the time where even him, he tried to play the trend of, hey, everyone's doing podcasts, let's do podcasts as well. But as you can see, that was also abandoned ship. Where's Peter Chow after almost a decade plus of making a Peter Chow content? He is now on TikTok, creating, having a million followers on TikTok and creating TikTok content. Maybe TikTok was a place where no one knew who he initially was and he could create a new audience. But his YouTube channel is on the slow decline, where you can actually see that he hasn't posted any YouTube videos within a past year. And uh, just like anything in life, you gotta focus on your own endeavors. And having that spotlight onto you and having that sense of fame and money at that age probably changes a person, probably sees the person as a different way, but when you yourself become a character, you become the product. You are just the consumer. Is that deep enough, bro? <laughs> but that was my little video on Peter Chow, how he got famous, where he is now, what is he doing? And uh, Chow Nation, you know? Stop drinking the haterade. Drink the boba tea or something like that, you know? The cool fact was that he's also part of my city, five years older than me, and it's like YouTube has changed so much, but the fact that there was a period in time where there were no Asians at all, at all, and now there's Asian as, as, everywhere on the YouTubes. But yeah, that was my video on Peter Chow. What do you guys wanna see next? What's Which YouTuber? I'm focusing on Asian YouTubers right now, but I feel like there's not a lot of documented Asian YouTubers that actually paved the way, right? We got Peter Chow, you got JK News, and there's a couple other ones that I'll probably make videos on. But this video is for the Chow Nation. Claim to fame. And I remember watching him in high school too, during the JK News days as well. You're watching Broke the Habit. I'm BTH Peter. You're watching Broke the Habit. And... Uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. Deuces.